Hey guys, welcome to episode two of the 5 Minute Friday. Now, it's no secret that keywords are the foundation of any successful SEO campaign, but there's so many different ways to go about uh, keyword research. There's, there's so much information out there. It can be intimidating, like where do you start, right? Now, most people make the mistake of overcomplicating things in the beginning, especially. Um, and, you know, they really try and reinvent the wheel. And, and there's no need to do that. Uh, the truth is the best place that you can start is really with, with your competitors. And, and that's the topic of this video today. Not only am I going to show you how to real quickly identify all the keywords your top competitors are ranking for that you are not, uh, I'm going to show you how to filter out the keywords that are relevant to your business, actually have search volume, and the ones that you can realistically rank for and go after. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to start adding context to the keywords in terms of mapping them to your funnel and coming up with uh, content topic ideas to go along with each keyword. So let's just jump right in. Okay, today I'll be using Ahrefs to perform the keyword gap analysis, but you can use a lot of other tools like SEMrush uh, to complete this exercise. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is identify who are your top competitors. And a real easy way to do this is you just come grab your domain URL, head back over to the site explorer here in Ahrefs, enter your domain in, and then just scroll down to the competing domains section right here. And then instantly you're going to be given a long list of domains that are uh, competing with you for the same keywords. And you can see here the column, they've got uh, all of the common keywords that you and each specific competitor rank for, as well as the unique keywords they're ranking for that you are not. Now, what I like to do is to start with 10 competitors from this list. And then I also like to drill through and have a look at who are their top competitors. And this is just a great way to really quickly expand out uh, the list of competitors that you have. So, you know, I just clicked through on Kiss Metrics as an example, and now I'm looking at their competing domains, and there are a bunch of new sites in here that were not listed in this original list of competitors that I had. So, what I like to do is just go through that for 10 of these competitors, look at 5 to 10 of their competitors, and then hum come back over to a spreadsheet and just make list out all of the competitor URLs that you find in Ahrefs. Uh, I like to start with uh, at least 50. Uh, competitors just because this gives us a lot more uh, keyword data that we'll be able to find. Now some of the competitors in this list are going to have much higher domain authority than your website like I can see here Moz, HubSpot, they have a ton of authority. So the key in this step is we really need to filter out of this list of competitors which ones have comparable authority to your site because essentially if they're able to rank for a keyword, if they have similar domain authority to you, Provided you produce killer content, uh, there's a great chance that you're also going to be able to rank or outrank them for those same keywords. And the quickest way to do this is just copy all of the URLs from your list of competitors, copy those, and then head back over here uh, to Ahrefs and you'll hit the tools and then click batch analysis tool. And just paste those URLs in and hit start analysis. Now, Ahrefs is going to return a bunch of top-level SEO metrics for each of the domains that you listed in here, and one of those ratings is going to be uh, the domain rating here. Now, before we go any further, uh, just so we have a benchmark, navigate back over to and look at your site. Uh, just enter it into the Site Explorer. It's already on my dashboard here. I can see I have a domain rating of 53. Now, if I come back over here, what we'll want to do is just filter the domains by the domain rating score. And instantly I can see that there are dozens of uh, websites in here that have comparable domain authority to me that are ranking for loads of keywords. I always like to start with competitors that are plus or minus five domain rating points uh, from mine. So since I'm at 53, I'm going to focus first on the sites with a domain rating between 48 and 58. Now again, you can see that there's dozens of sites that fit in here, and uh, so that we're going to have a lot of data to uh, to work with. So the next step, once we have these sites, is to copy each of the URLs and navigate back over to uh, this feature within Site Explorer called Content Gap. Now, what this tool will essentially do is it'll go out. You can add in each or you can add in ten competitor URLs, and it's going to find all the keywords that any of your competitors are ranking for in the top 10, if you check this box, that your site is not. Now all you then do is just click show keywords 
and it'll run through and instantly if you scroll down you can see that it's returned over 20,500 keywords that these sites are all ranking for that I am not. So from there what you'll do is you'll just come up here and you'll click export to export all of these keywords uh, back into your spreadsheet. Now you can see here I have a master keyword list of the keyword output um, from, from that export. And you'll see here that it ports in a bunch of uh, metrics such as volume, keyword difficulty, cost per click. I like to add in another column called target and this process now does require a little bit of manual review just because we want to start weeding out some of the better uh, keyword targets. Now there's two things that I'm looking for as I'm moving through this list. First, I'm looking for specific keyword targets that I can go after with an article. Now these are usually going to be longer tail variations. They'll have three or more keywords in them. And then the other one that I'm looking for as well are broad topical themes. Now these are usually just going to be one or two word phrases such as like in this case keyword research, link building, uh, content strategy, things like that. Keywords that are going to have a ton of volume, they're going to be really, really competitive in most cases, but they're fantastic seed keywords and topics that you can use to expand your keyword research from uh, in the future. Now as I go through, you can see here that as I scan down, I just place an X in this box ne next to themes or keywords that I have an interest in. And then once I have completed uh, going down the list, I can then just simply uh, sort the list by anything that I've placed an X with. And then I have a, a nice little short list of keywords here um, that I can then focus on and start building out my uh, content strategy with and, and, and filling those keyword gaps. So what I'll do is I'll just copy these uh, keywords now and I'll add them into my keyword gap tab. Now in here, this is where I start to uh, play around with the keywords a little bit more and I really start to try and find, uh, add a little bit more meaning to each of the keywords so that we can, uh, we can actually start acting on them. And to help make sense of the data, I add in a few more columns. Um, you hear, I list each keyword as the primary keyword. Then I, I created a secondary keywords column that I'll show you why in just a second. Um, I have the keyword difficulty. Yeah, and then I have a tab in here, um, it's called intent. So this is really, I have three ones. I have tofu, mofu, and bofu. And what those stand for essentially is top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, and bottom of the funnel. So I, this is just a great way to have something in there so that you can filter and identify if you're lacking or have too much content at each stage of the funnel. Really identify content gaps across uh, across your sales funnel. Then I have a competitor URL column that I add in a link to an article from a, one of my competitors that's already ranking for the keyword so that it can give me some content uh, inspiration. And then I have a column here called monetization CTA. And what this is about is really um, identifying how am I going to monetize this article or what CTA uh, or call to action am I going to have in the content. Now you can see here that I've started highlighting green some of the keywords. These are ones that I'm really interested in exploring a little bit further. Uh, these are both keywords that I can write an article around as well as topics that I can, uh, I can expand off of uh, my keyword research moving forward. Now one of the final uh, tips I'll give you here is another cool feature in Ahrefs that you can use to, uh, to find additional topical ideas and uh, secondary keywords is come over here, enter in one of your competitors. So in this case, I've got Matthew Woodward here. Uh, and then, you know, we could click through down to the top pages report. And what this will do, similar to in, inside SEMrush, is it'll give you a list of all of the pages in here that are driving the most traffic uh, to his website. And then, you know, I, I can just scan down here and see if any of the keywords First, I can look for any new keyword ideas, but I can see if any of that um, I already have in my keyword list. Like back here, I have one of the keywords I want to go after was how to start a successful blog, 1300 searches. So now I know that he's got an article there as well, but look at this. He has, this is ranking for 92 other keyword variations. So there are probably going to be a bunch of great secondary keywords that I can, I can export from here and then add as secondary keywords for my article. And, you know, I can, even from here, I can look at the article itself. I uh, just click through here and I can start scanning through and seeing some of the topics he's created uh, within the post. And then I can say, how can I beat this? 
uh, and really from there I can just uh, come up with great topical ideas, uh, make sure I'm getting in as many secondary keywords to increase the keyword spread and organic traffic potential of that post. And I'll just go through and repeat that process for all the keywords in here. And then um, once I've done that, I have a great list of keyword gaps that I can start filling and a, and a great list of uh, topics that I can expand my keyword research from and just build out that keyword list further and further and further. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And until the next 5-Minute Friday, I'll talk to you soon.